So good old gamer in the comments mentioned that I could still talk to Caden some more. So I came back to talk to Caden before we head off to do all of the uh, the Aria nonsense. Something else, Shepard? Uh, investigate. You've been injured. Sure you want right back in the thick of it? Are you kidding? I want to kick the Reapers straight to hell. Cerberus too. People near death say their lives flash before their eyes. Well, the future flashed for me. The anguish, the, the families, the children. It made me determined to live. I need to do something, Shepard, to save at least a few lives. So, some of this seems familiar, but I don't know if I had talked to him about all this before, so we're, I guess we're just going to run through it again, because if I haven't, then I don't want to miss out on it. Give me the update, Major. <laughs> Major, yeah. Congrats. There's obviously been a lot going on. Anderson asked me to take over a spec ops program. First Special Operations Biotics Division. We're recruiting the most talented human biotics from around the galaxy. What's the focus? Covert high-risk missions. Turn it down at first. I mean, teaching? <laughs> I prefer to get my hands dirty. Anderson can be pretty persuasive. Yeah. Bit of a hard ass, but you can't argue with his kind of experience. Wouldn't take no, said it had to be me. With your history, you're the perfect choice. True. Human biotics are... Well, we're different. Freaks, even. Most people in the galaxy still see us that way. But accepting it, embracing it, can be the difference between success and sitting at home in your PJs taking red sand. But I don't have to tell you that. You said your implant got rattled. Everything good? Uh, the medical gibberish was a bit more impressive, but that's what I took away. Rattled. Found a great doc at HQ that's fascinated by the L2 implant. Kind of her pet project. The headaches are as bad as ever, but she's, she's got me on a regimen of acupuncture and meds and some nasty tasting concoction. Won't tell me what it is. Probably don't want to know. My biotics are stronger than ever. Maybe some things get better with age. Or maybe you have. More experienced? Yeah, could be. I think I'm a better soldier than when I served with you. Where's your family? Are they safe? My family? My parents live in Vancouver. But Dad's family owns an orchard in the BC interior. They were headed out there on a shuttle the day of the attack. Heard from them? No, not yet. But I hope, huh, I'm hoping Dad's Alliance training has kept them safe. Must be killing them not knowing where I am. That's true. Like, <laughs> like this guy has been doing this whole Reaper fighting thing for a while now. <clears throat> He's probably in the thick of it. You said your implant got rattled. Oh, no. Already uh, clicked on that one. But my blah, blah, blah. You More experience? Blah, blah, blah. Did I do? What have you been up to? How are your biotics? Can we talk about Horizon? That's the one I wanted. Are we going to be able to get past what happened on Horizon? I'd like to, Shepard. I'd like to move past the harsh words and be friends. At least. So, how do we fix it? I'll admit, I own a lot of that. You were standing right in front of me and I was... I shut you down. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, so let's just put it behind us and get on with what's important right now. Bury it? Bury it. Forgive it. I, I think that's how we get past Horizon. Cool. I should probably get going. Thanks for coming by. Take care, Caden. All right, now we get to go do the, uh, the stuff with Arya. Still, still feeling kind of off today, so one of those not looking forward to doing like a bunch of action stuff. It's actually why I put doing Terraria off for the past couple days. That last couple bosses that I've been working on on the Calamity Rogue playthrough requires so much out of you. It's like you have to be pixel perfect on some of these things, and I just can't do that right now. <laughs> Where is it? The is it the embassies I need to go to, or is it the commons? If you have a oh, I need I need to go to the commons for. Oh wait, no, was it the embassy that I needed to go? To? 
All right, let's check out the map. So, Liara is here. So it's Edie and Joker. Oh, I haven't actually been here. Oh, and that, that's right. There's a bunch of stores. You know what? I'm going to come back to this one. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Let's go to the embassies. And go talk to uh, what's his butt. Try to get these mercs released. I think he's just up over here to the left. Although, I should probably check. Do, 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 do. Yeah, Commander Bailey. Yeah, he is just right up over here. Nice. I could go check the N7 store as well and see if there's any good things in there. But outside of maybe a shotgun, I don't Shepherd, know. what do I owe the pleasure? I'm here to talk to you about releasing Jonas Adaris. Damn, you too? Somebody got the council to order her release. I'm delaying as best I can. What's your stake in this? It's classified. That's a fancy way of saying mind your own business. <laughs> Look, there's no way I'm letting that psychopath out. The woman's unstable and a clear public threat. What makes you think she's crazy? She was a ruthless sadist before she got caught. Her imprisonment has cracked the shell off the nut. Maybe freedom will improve her. She rages day and night, Shepard, calling for the deaths of all Eclipse enemies. No, freedom will only give her the chance to kill. I, I have to step over him on this one. This is bigger than Sedaris or you or me. The Council's orders must be obeyed. No, I hear where you're coming from, but this is cut and dry. I'll tell you what, if you meet her and honestly think she should be released, I'll do it. Go to the CSEC outpost and my assistant will connect to Sedaris' cell from there. Then call me back. Okay, that's fine. I can do that. I feel like that's... That's a reasonable request. Like, hey, at least just go meet her. Did I have I talked to him? Commander Shepard, John Dumbau, Special Tactics and Recon. I've got intel suggesting that high-level Hanar officials may be indoctrinated. That's a damning accusation. What have you got? Evidence of an Alliance Black Ops team raiding a Batarian research station. The Batarians were studying Reaper technology. The Batarians had Reaper technology? The Alliance raid turned into a massacre, and the humans ended up with nothing. Your people faked a power failure to hide the incident. The Batarians would have gone to war if they'd found out. But how does this implicate the Hanar? They maintained discreet gray market trade relationships with the Batarians and led the Alliance to the station. We suspect those Hanar operatives escaped with Batarian tech. If your reports on the Reapers are accurate, they could already be indoctrinated. Hmm. What's your source on all this? It was an anonymous gift, but I believe it came from a thief named Kasumi Goto. Oh, okay. I've been after her for years. Kasumi? You're hunting a thief? A master thief. Her intelligence and skill are almost Solarian. I'm sure she'd appreciate praise from the Spectre who's chasing her down. I only need her data. I admire her personally. And since she sent me this, I assume her feelings are mutual. I'm dealing with a galaxy-wide threat right now. You're sure this is worth the time? Absolutely. The Hanar are a major financial power. Plus, their territory buffers Solarian space, which would be vulnerable otherwise. The Hanar operative is now a diplomat on the Citadel. I don't have a public name, and the Hanar will go to ground if I make a formal inquiry. So we're hunting? I'm tracking suspicious transmissions to the Hanar homeworld. I could use your help. Let me see what I can dig up at the Spectre office. Thanks, Shepard. And for the record, not everyone doubted your concerns about the Reapers. I just hope we're not too late. That's pretty fun. So, remember when you helped me get KG's gray box from Donovan Hawk? Oh, hey, Kasumi. The one with information that could start a war. I thought we destroyed that information to keep you safe. There were enough clues left for me to piece things together when I... got curious. It was big enough to leak it to Bao. If you don't mind me tagging along cloaked, maybe I can help you dig up some dirt on the Hanar. I'd appreciate it. So, while not explicitly a companion in Mass Effect 3, she does make a return. And I love that. I love that so much because, well, honestly, she kind of requires to be here or is required to be here just because of the simple fact that she's awesome. <laughs> One of my favorite companions. Yeah, if I'm looking at a shotgun here, maybe the Crusader might be a good option, but it's 125,000 credits. Like, that's, that's quite an investment, honestly. And then I would have to upgrade it past that, too. So, yeah. Uh, military pardons for Normandy engineers. 
Engineers Gabriella Daniels and Ken Donnelly are in custody on the Citadel for working with Cerberus. Daniels and Donnelly surrendered peacefully before the Normandy was turned over to the Alliance, but have maintained that they were motivated purely to help fight the Collectors and Reapers and had no other connection to the terrorist organization. Uh, Spectre authorization could offer Daniels and Donnelly full pardons and reinstate them aboard the Normandy. Hell yeah, let's do that. And then Hanar Embassy Tracking. Uh, Spectre level access codes can bypass privacy settings and track financial data, transit records, and personal communications for all employees in the Hanar Embassy. To avoid triggering surveillance countermeasures, uh, embassy files must be accessed on site. Have points of consoles or access points with relevant information will be tagged on the Spectre's Omni tool. And I don't have anything to enable on those, so we'll Shepherd, just close that out. I'm checking security reports. Can you track the transfers coming from the Hanar Embassy? On it. Bao's got a good plan. Hanar are predictable. Anything suspicious in their terminal use should narrow down our list of suspects. Okay, so where am I going exactly? Are they here? Five is the office suite. Embassy offices, four. It's a terminal. Um... Maybe, maybe I'll just go off over here. Let's, let's go to our journal. And do, 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 do. Citadel improved power grid. No. Hanar diplomat. Uh, da, 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 da. Suspected member of the Hanar diplomat staff is indoctrinated. Find evidence on the Hanar in the Presidian embassies. Okay, we're in the embassies. He's a good specter. The galaxy needs more like him. And the fact that he's trying to arrest you? Well, nobody's perfect. <laughs> Fair, huh? All right, let's let's just you know, give it a good look uh, around. Hello, ma I think it's probably on the other side. It said that there is a terminal, but maybe that's what it's talking about. It's oh no, right here. Never mind. Never mind. Bow, I have some possible hits. Got some strange money transfers on Balon, and Alun is sending a lot of data. Balon's clean. His money transfers are to support his mistress. Not sure about Alun. I'll pull his bio. I'll check Alun's personal records and pull his recent messages. Can I just note how odd it is for a Hanar to have a mistress? You know, if Bao catches up with you, I can grant you immunity. What? If I join up? Last time I did that, you wrote me into a suicide mission. Good point. I didn't say you had to join up. You were working your way around to it. You know, I, I kind of like that they're addressing the fact that I would ask them. Where's, it said my map was updated, but I don't see anything. Here. All right, let's go back to our journal. <laughs> do, do, do. Was that, was that it? Hey, no, Hanar Diplomat. Blah, 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 blah. Find evidence on the Hanar in the Presidium Embassy. So, okay. Oh, there, there was a, a journal update that I did get there. Uh, a Volus Diplomat needs a Prothean Obelisk. Recover it from the Shriek em, uh, Abyssal. And or the Shrike Abyssal and deliver it to him on the Citadel Embassy. I got so much stuff to do in this game. Unfortunately, I think Mass Effect 3 uh, starts going down the same road as many other. Why is that terminal still? Uh, let's go look at it one last time. Um, goes down the same road as many other games that came after it, which is hey, let's just add a bunch of busy work into the game, you know what I mean? Let's let's do a bunch of side missions to make it feel like the game is padded out with content, but in reality, that content is not very substantial. Um, the best the best game to have come out, I think, in the last ten years to have done this um, in a in a reasonable way, in a, in a way that actually makes you go, "Oh, I really like that. I like the way that you handled that." Is The Witcher Three? Because like all of their side quest stuff just is awesome. And none of it has ever made me feel like, um, like it wasn't important to the story. I don't think I'm going to find it in here. That terminal is still lit up. So I'm not sure what's happening here. I may, I may have broken it briefly. Do, 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 do. Snap to find evidence on the Hanar and the Presidian embassies. We're in the embassies. That terminal really wants me to know that it's there. It's possible that I can leave and come back. So maybe I should talk to Udina. Probably not. All right, let's 
let's go to a place and then come back. And it, that's it's possible that it'll fix this terminal issue. I think that's what it is. I think it's bugged out because it's supposed to give me the next step, but it's not. So maybe it'll fix it or maybe I'm screwed. Let's go to the holding area, which I we need to go down there anyways, but I am just going to pop back up. Now arriving at Docking Bay E24. One moment, please. Go to the embassies. All right, did it fix it? No, terminal still popped up. Hmm. This is really annoying. Well, if this is just like straight up broken, then I don't know what to do. I may look up what's going on here. In fact, if I'm gonna do that, I need to look up the actual name of this thing. It is Hanar Diplomat, okay. That's fine. Or is it this? Bao, Olun's doing some heavy lobbying for the Hanar to support the war effort. So he's clearly not indoctrinated. Who's opposing him? An unnamed Hanar recently posted here from Kaje. I'll check transit records for incoming Hanar. It all comes down to the war, and you trying to pull everyone into it. Would you hmm. rather the Reapers win? No. And I owe you for getting Keiji's gray box back from Hawk. But I can't do another collector base, Shep. The Reapers aren't people. I can't infiltrate a Reaper party and steal a big I win bomb. There's just no room. You let Asari in here earlier. That's back when we had space. Where is my family supposed to go? I don't know, all right. But they can't land here. No, I'm gonna support the refugee. Sure you can't squeeze in a few more people, officer. And who the heck are you? Oh. Commander Shepard, uh, if that's what you think, I'll, uh, I'll find them some room. So my family can dock? Commander Shepard says your family's cleared. Just tell them to hurry. Cool. Thank you so much. I feel like I needed to help out there. Like, at this point, the whole galaxy is going to be a bunch of refugees. You have to, you have to show compassion on that, right? So, if, if we start turning people away now, it's not going to help. In the slightest. What was your name? Victor. Christophe Vasser. Good to meet you. How long have you been here? I don't know. I'm, I'm not in the. I don't know how long it was since I escaped Lyon. Do you know Lyon? No. <laughs> okay, what a fascinating conversation. I think if I look at my map here, I'll be able to figure out. Oh, there's a little shop here. It's good to know. Uh, bay E28 for, it's apparently a terminal over there. There is a cargo hold thing over here that I need to go to. Garrus is over there, so that's cool. Um, let's go see what the shop is. Batarian State Arms. A harpoon gun? Alliance captain on her fifth tour of the Terminus system once said, I don't think I've ever seen this thing. Uh, one said that seeing a key shock was the easiest way to tell if it was being attacked by Batarian mercenaries or slavers. Uh, since no bastard with a key shock means to take you alive, this powerful sniper rifle fires a harpoon like spike that causes massive internal bleeding, and its uh, miniaturized disruptors will also destroy synthetics. The rifle's biggest drawback. Uh, it's constant talking over me is really annoying. The rifle's biggest drawback is that it must be reloaded after every shot, but for those with steady aim and good timing, one shot is enough. Hm. Uh, shotgun, smart choke, increased accuracy. Don't know if I need that. Ooh, uh, gauntlets that increase melee damage. Please observe all cast restrictions when making a purchase. I think um, assault rifle omni blade. Ooh, that's cool. I think I think I'm just gonna go ahead and pick this up for now. I'm not sure if I'll use it, but it's better to have it at the moment than not use it, and then than to have it and want it but not be able to buy it later. I think I think credit wise, I'm gonna be fine. It's just one of those I need to um, currently buy the things that I really want. Shotgun mods and all that's fine and dandy, but we're going to be getting a bunch of those as we play anyways. So, not a priority, honestly. Uh, let's talk to Darner. Wow. Arya wasn't kidding. The great Commander Shepard on a leash. 
I'm here for my own reasons, Vosk. Is that Ferris? Oh, sure you are. Anyway, tell her I'm impressed, but to do business, Ferris? I still need my little problem taken care of. My brain's breaking. Hold Which on. Is? A Torian general named Oraka has it out for the Blue Suns. He's raising a stink over our activity in this Ferric. sector. That's I'll it. I'll commit my gang to Arya as soon as Oraka's dead. It's definitely the voice actor for Ferric. There must be more to Oraka's complaint. We're just making little raids along trading routes. With Arya's blessing, I might add. Oraka's just some military fossil who came out of retirement to relive the glory days and justify his existence. Losing him won't affect your war in the least, but gaining the Blue Suns, well, you know our work. You won't have to worry about Oraka for long. Love it. Commander Shepard taking out the Blue Suns trash, huh? That Arya is sure something special. Oh, and, uh, <laughs> tell Arya I still expect her blue ass in bed with me. No, I'm not gonna tell her that, dude. -er. You knew about this. Can you be more specific? Darner Vosk expects me to kill General Oraka. Who cares what Vosk wants? What he needs is for Oraka to stop disrupting his operations. I figured you'd talk to Oraka, see if you can get him to lay off. And if he won't listen to reason, call me and I'll take care of it. No need to candy coat it, Arya. I just don't see why you couldn't tell me the details yourself. Vosk needed to see you, needed to realize who he's dealing with. Plus, if I have to suffer that scumbag staring at my tits one more time, I might have to kill him. <laughs> yeah, he mentioned that, uh... That I'm going to sleep with him? We all have our delusions. That's pretty funny. Let's check on those Metagel supplies. Yes, sir. Uh, Garris, where you have at, buddy? Have we heard anything from the hospital? Shepard. What's happening? We convinced the council to accept our wounded. Nowhere else to go. How bad is it? More dead than injured. 85% killed in action. We'll need a morgue soon. Not a lot of flesh wounds when you're fighting rapers. Casualties are that high? Our frontline units are being wiped out, whole platoons at a time. A single reaper can destroy nine or ten of them in one attack. That's not war. It's slaughter. They're called Reapers for a reason. And these guys found out why. Can we patch them up? Get them back into the fight? Maybe a few, though it'd be pretty much a death sentence. We're all facing a death sentence. Better a soldier goes down fighting than waited out here. A lot of them would agree. But my people are running low on guns, ammo, transports. We have to ration it out to the troops who are still healthy. Any sign of your family? Not yet, but I keep hoping. What about you? I'm starting to see some wear and tear. It's nothing I can't handle. I don't doubt it, but remember to come up for air. There's a lot more war to go. Good point. It's actually really well said from Garrus. Because, you know, Sh Shepard can't burn herself out. She really needs to keep going. I've got a list of new Hanar arrivals, Val. Forwarding it to you. Damn. These are all face names. The Hanar names from the Alliance raid are soul names. And Hanar soul names are private. There's no public record. Can you get back to their personal communications? On it. Maybe we'll find names there. So how's the rest of the gang? Met up with anybody else? Garrus is helping out on the Normandy. He never could pass up a good fight. What about Jacob? Haven't heard from him. See? Jacob could have gotten me back onto the Normandy. I'm touched. <laughs> Val, here's the correspondence. If there's any mention of soul names... I've got it. A recent arrival. Zemandis. Soul name regards the works of the Enkindlers in despair. He was with the Alliance team that massacred the Batarians. He's been on special research assignment ever since. So, he got his tentacles on some Reaper tech. Looks that way. I'm sending you the nav point for his office. I'll meet you there. <laughs> Goody. Oh, we gotta go confront ourselves a Hanar.